Hey guys, Handy Camper here. Today I'm going to do a little uh, little charging on my uh, Goal Zero Nomad 7. Right here. Goal Zero Nomad 7. I've had this thing for quite a while. I'll show you how to charge your cell phone using the Nomad 7 with the Goal Zero Guide 10. Yeah guys, this is the... Uh, this is the second gen Goal Zero, second generation, I do believe. And from what I understand, you have to have the Guide 10 charger uh, in conjunction with the, the solar panel to charge a cell phone unless you have a uh, a little USB adapter that goes with it to regulate the uh, electricity. And what that does, it just, uh, you use the power from the, uh, the Guide 10 while it's charging, so anyway. Let's give it a shot here, guys. I haven't tried charging my new phone with it, so it might be a little bit different. We'll see how it works. Let's get this thing plugged in. Okay, it looks like it's going crazy. It's like going in and out. Maybe I need to turn the power on. Let's see. Okay guys, you can see the blinky light here, that it is charging the guide 10. It has four rechargeable batteries, four AA rechargeable batteries in there. And the solar panel was charging that. And you can see that my phone is being charged. So, actually I'm going to put it in airplane mode. Make it see if it'll charge a little faster. There we go. Airplane mode is on. But we are charging, and I'm not in direct sunlight, so I want to try with kind of a, it's coming through the trees there, and you can kind of see around, it's open, plenty of sun everywhere else, but I just wanted to kind of try it in the shaded area. And you can see that it's charging, so. <clears throat> I'm definitely getting sun. And just to show you what it does when I pull this out, guys. It's not charging anymore. And the green light's on showing that the charge is just coming from the uh, batteries themselves. So, there you have it, guys. If you was to plug your USB directly into the solar panel, the electricity wouldn't be regulated, so it wouldn't charge correctly. Uh, I think it will charge like uh, other phones other than iPhone like Droid or Android and a couple other kind, you know, Samsung and different things. Anyway, guys, we are at uh, 70, 73%. We were at 71. We'll get back with you. Get back with you in a bit. Oh, there's a, there's a hummingbird over there, guys. I doubt you can see it. Buzzing around right there, there's trees. That's so pretty. You know, with charging, uh, charging your phone and uh, solar charging, just charging in general, I've read that uh, I think with the iPhone, it charges rather quickly up to 70%, uh, I think it is. And then after that, it charges uh, a little bit slower. I don't know what, what, what is up with that, but I remember reading that a while back. It might be different with the new iPhones, I'm not sure. But I do remember the, uh, like, charging for, like, solar and stuff about how... Uh, quickly things charge uh, especially uh, iPhones they charge up to 70% uh, then it kind of slows down a little bit I don't know if that's just the lithium-ion battery in there or uh, oh, beautiful outside the weather's changing you can feel it in the air it's not as humid very nice very nice got a little too shady in that area guys so I had to move it to a better location There we go.
There you go, guys. That's how you. Uh, that's how you. How you charge your uh, phone and other devices. Most devices you can just plug directly into the uh, USB in the back of the solar panel itself without using the uh, the guide 10 charger. I'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And as always, plan, prepare, and practice. Andy out.